Are you ready? Good. Start by questioning the leaders, Edward Fletcher and Harold Bailey. Get both sides of the story. Then investigate the scene of the fire. See what you can find. Lancelot ordered patrols to keep an eye on the area and warned everyone to stay clear, so nothing should be tampered with. Once you've brought evidence of the truth, I can bring you into the fold. For now, I'll let Lancelot know you can come and go to the castle as you please. Good luck. Need me to get you a hobby horse to go with your new hobby? Something. I'm not sure. I'll be honest what my brother did was regrettable. John and the boy weren't part of this feud, or at least they shouldn't have been. Being knights of Camelot, they live or lived at the castle. Seems they had a feud of their own after the fire, and Michael caused them a conflict. It's unfortunate it escalated. I almost lost my Mary last year to illness. I can't imagine the pain Harold must be going through. Whatever he did, no one deserves that. It's about time. There's been too much confusion around this fire. It must be stamped out. Harold Bailey himself, I suspect. Or maybe his father. I doubt he would have gotten any of his boys to do it. Who else would do it? If you have any evidence to the contrary, then fair enough. I'll put a sock in it. But I don't know anyone else with a motive. While I'm certainly not shy about making their involvement in the fire known, I think they're good people at heart. They're just stubborn. They know that land is ours. We moved into the area and claimed it weeks before they even arrived. And they think just because they helped build this place that we owed them. They received banquets of food in return. More than fair. This was the early days of Camelot, nearly eight years ago. They could have starved without our generosity. I was preparing dinner for my family. I'll do a terrific venison stew. Here. Have a can. Very well. I'm Edward Fletcher, hunter by trade. Me and my family packed up shop and came to Albion seven years ago from Bromley. Back there, we had to fend for ourselves. But here, we're protected. We can hunt in peace. It's a good living, and we're good at it. Me and my brother come from a long line of huntsmen. Our father, grandfather, and great-grandfather all stalked the wastes, and I hope my descendants will do the same. Mary, my oldest, continues the tradition. Sarah, my youngest, can't stand it. Says it's cruel. Each to their own, I guess. Wouldn't say we need help, but if you ever fancy picking up a spear, I'd pay you well for any game you bring us. Can I help you? He had an accident, that's all. A tree fell on me. As it had a trade. I'm Ryan Bailey. Not much to say, really. I don't get up to much. I work hard, and I keep my head down. Yeah? Good. Not sure who done it myself. All I know is that my brother shouldn't have died over some poxy forest. Are you? You round table lot could have stopped it. But you didn't. You just stood 
and watched it happen. Bye. Hello there. I didn't lose my son. He was taken from me. That Horson, John Fletcher, murdered him. He can call it a duel all he wants. Fletcher knew my son wouldn't refuse. Thomas would have done anything to defend our family. Worst of all, Fletcher knew he'd win. He's a trained killer since birth. It was murder. Murder hiding behind the notion of honor. John Fletcher is a bitter old man to rob my son of the rest of his life. Someone with a good sword hand should give him what for. I should try myself. I want to. I want to tear his guts out with my bare hands. But all I can do is swing this axe. And my son's already lost their brother. I'm Harold Bailey. We were a family of merchants before we came to Albion. We wanted to settle down here, so we picked up a trade. At first, we were just woodcutters. But soon enough, we started building our own furniture. And then other people's furniture. And then houses and everything in between. We finally feel like we belong somewhere. I hope the rest of London will see what's happening here and accept Camelot as the way forward. We have too many workers for the little land we have. But we'll buy any wood you can spare. We'll give you a good price for it too. Good. The truth about this fire will prove our innocence. The Fletchers. I don't have any evidence, but I know it was them. That may not be good enough for the round table, but it's good enough for me. They're criminals. They were nice enough at first. We even helped build that treehouse of theirs, but they quickly revealed their true colors. That land is rightfully ours. It's on our side of the walkway. Stopping our field at some arbitrary line is ridiculous. They have the entire woods to hunt in. Do you know how much additional manpower it takes to haul wood long distance? I used to think they were just stubborn. <laughs> now I know it's something more malicious. After what they did to my son, I'll never forgive them. Listening to the radio. I always tune into Nigel's show in the evenings. I'd almost drifted off in my chair when the smoke got me up. I thought the whole forest was going to burn down. We managed to stop the spread with the water from the pond. <laughs> of course he does. Look, I know this fire doesn't look good for us. It mostly being their land. But I promise you, it wasn't us. The Fletchers are conniving. They know if we ever did something like that, we'd face sanctions. Most likely, they'd get their half of the land back. No worries. Go on. No worries. See you around. Greetings. Thank you. That means a lot. Most people want to forget what happened, like it's an inconvenience. Thank you. The round table sure took their time to send someone, but that's not a slight on you, dear. I'm Susan. I grew up in a small tribe outside of London. I met Frank when... He was a wandering trader. He came through the town with his father. I decided to go with him and never looked back. We eventually settled down here to raise our family properly. The road is no place for children. Bye. Greetings. I saw two people out there that night, shortly before the fire. Didn't get a good look at them, though. My eyes aren't what they once were. I'm Frank Bailey, Harold's old man. My working days are behind me, so I mainly handle logistics. 
Keeps my noggin busy. See ya. Sorry, can't talk right now. Sorry, can't talk right now. Need help? Bit of a hoarder, are you? Hello, sir. Name's Timothy, or Timmy for short. Saw the fire with me own eyes, I did. Thought the old forest was a goner till it started chucking down. Could be I can help with your investigation. Always fancied a career in sleuthing. I watched you snooping round like a prat, that's why. Harold and Susan, but I just call them mum and dad. I'm their youngest. Up to what? I just want to help with the investigation, that's all. Thanks. I try not to think about it. Me and me older brother Ryan looked up to Thomas. Well, since I don't fancy digging round in the mud for clues, I can do you one better. I saw a bloke light the fire that night. I didn't see his mug. I was watching from the lumber yard, but he was suited up like a Camelot knight. He ran off to the old shack over there. I didn't follow him or nothing. I'm not supposed to go out on my own. So, did I crack the case or what? Not really. It was dark until the fire properly got going. By then, he'd run off to the shack. You know, checking the trees. It's a family business. A witness who just solved your case. Be more grateful. No worries. I'm always glad to lend a hand to those in need.
Where shall the winds take us today? Need something? What? Let me see that. Well, this certainly isn't my handwriting. Looks like it were written by a child. And why would I address my brother by his full name? And most importantly of all, why would I have him burn down my own land? To get one over on them? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Us Fletchers don't act in pettiness. Tricked by the Baileys, no doubt. I trust you to see the truth for this letter and dismiss it in your inquiries. Fire away. The Baileys are the type to deny reality when it suits them. Of course we didn't burn down our own land. We're simple folk. We don't like trouble. Very well. Later. Can I help you? He had an accident, that's all. A tree fell on me. Hazard of the trade. I... I... Oh shit. It's not what it looks like. At least, it didn't happen the way you think. Please, just let me explain. It was an accident. Me and Timmy were sneaking off to the tavern that night. We wanted to surprise Thomas. One of those bleeding rad stags came out of nowhere and ran right into my leg. I didn't even notice I dropped the lantern. We ran off and Timothy went to get me some bandages. By the time he came back, the fire started. No. I think my mum suspects, but she doesn't know. My dad wouldn't believe it, even if he saw it. I don't know. I told him not to. We knew this fire would be bad for the family, me especially. I guess he wanted to protect me. Probably afraid of losing another brother. Please, tell Arthur the whole truth. Make him understand. How goes the investigation? Go on. As I unfortunately suspected. The evidence? I was so sure this was about the land. I didn't think Harold and Edward could both be wrong. What exactly happened? Those poor boys. The guilt they must be feeling over their brother. Terrible. I'll have a talk with them. Consider the matter dealt with. I know Edward Fletcher. He's not one to demand sanctions over the mistakes of two boys. And Harold? Well, I'll talk with him too. I asked for the truth and you gave it to me. Now I must act on it. I shall be glad to settle this dispute amicably. Thank you. You've done well and proven yourself worthy of Camelot. From this day forth, this land is your land. You shall defend it as your own. I bestow upon you the rank of sergeant. May you serve it well.